Hey up everyone, Magpie9901 here bringing you a Far Cry 5 video. Now today is the 26th of May and we have finally had the reveal for the game. And I've got to say, I'm quite excited about this game, it looks really good. So we've had a few teaser trailers earlier in the week, there's been a couple of pictures drop here and there and it's confirmed to be set in Montana. And looking at the reveal trailer that you can see in the background now, it's obviously carrying on the brand of Far Cry 5 where you are the lead against a pretty crazy person. Now you always play the lead against a guy that's got sort of like an army going and it's the same in this one. Although this time it's a private militia and they're a bit like a, a doomsday cult and they are called the Project at Eden's Gate. Now their lead is called Joseph Seed and the premise of the story is that they've basically been infiltrating daily life within this certain part of Montana, started to take over things and you know either willingly or unwillingly they've taken control of people and places within this community and basically besieged it completely. And then your character comes along and everywhere I'm looking I can't find a name for your actual character so and there's no, there's not really any kind of picture of your character so I don't really know what the character looks like that you play in the game. Some have said that this picture in the background that shows this uh, Joseph Seed sat at a table with a lot of people around him. And then there's the guy in the bottom left hand corner with Sinner wrote into his back. A lot of people are saying that that's actually your character that you play with in the game. I suppose it would make sense as this guy looks like he's been held there. Definitely against his will he's been tied up, he's obviously been beaten and abused a bit so could that be your character or was that just somebody that wasn't willing to follow the path of this cult? We don't know yet. Now as well as the full reveal trailer there are also three other trailers that show the resistance that you will eventually lead within the game. First one is Pastor Jerome Jeffries and the video shows him sat in his church, it's been ruined, he's talking about how people are unable to follow the path that they want to and they've been forced to follow Joseph Seed's path and then as the camera pans round he's got a revolver hidden in his Bible and it shows him walking out with his Bible with the revolver inside and a shotgun so he's ready to take up arms against this militia. The next trailer has you meeting Mary Mae Fairgrove. She's running a local bar, very pissed off. She's lost her brother and her mother to this cult. Her father's gone a bit mental after it all. She's been left obviously to hold down the fort and then as the camera pans back she's making a Molotov cocktail and behind the bar is just an absolute armory of weaponry so she's the next one in the resistance that's going to help you. And then the final one is a guy called Nick Rai who is it obviously looks like he's a crop duster and he's outfitting his plane with a minigun ready to take up arms against the militia. Now I don't know if you actually get to play these characters within the game or whether they're just characters that you ally with during your adventures in the game. It'd be cool if you do get to play them at some point but I don't know yet. But it's definitely looking like a kick-ass game. The reveal trailer has in-game footage which looks really good. The graphics look good. You know, it's everything that you could expect from a from a current generation game for sure. And according to the Ubisoft website, there are going to be three different editions of this game. It's going to be the standard edition, the deluxe edition, and the gold edition. Now with the standard edition, you get nothing extra. Of course, this is just the standard box standard edition. There's nothing, no bells and whistles, no extras with it. I think if you pre order you do get um, some additional in-game content but it's just clothing things like that it's nothing really special if you go through the deluxe edition you will get a special deluxe key art with your game you get a double-sided tourist map of Hope County featuring points of interest and key locations and you get the original soundtrack from within the game. There's also some digital content that goes with this. There is the Big Game Hunter pack which gives you access to the Big Game Hunter compound bow, Big Game Hunter ATV and the Big Game Hunter outfit and there's the Ace Pilot pack which gives you access to the Ace Pilot 911 handgun. And then moving on to the Gold Edition of the game, you get everything that you get with the Deluxe one, plus the Season Pack, which will extend your Far Cry experience with additional stories, content and gear. Now the pricing I don't think is too bad. The Gold Edition at the moment is for pre-order for $69.99, and that is the same price for the PS4 and the Xbox One, although for the PC Download Edition of the Gold Edition, it is $74.99. So 
we've actually got a trend of a PC game being more expensive than the console version there which is a bit odd. But then you have the standard edition which is $54.99 for the PS4 and Xbox One but the PC edition is $44.99 and the deluxe edition is $54.99 across the board. So it's a bit odd that this gold edition is £5 more, don't really understand that but there you go. But yeah this game is looking really good. Of course you can expect all of the usual action that you get from a Far Cry game but I think this time they're giving it a little bit more of a serious twist and of course last year we had the um events that took part at the National Wildlife Refuge in Oregon where a militia took over and I think this game is tapping into that kind of theme if you like of cults and doomsday, doomsday preppers that are organising themselves into what basically amount to private armies that follow their own rules and are trying to sort of secularise themselves from usual American everyday life and then it has you dropping right in the middle of it taking it all on. But it is quite a shift in terms of the politics within the game because Far Cry up to now has always featured imaginary locations, obviously imaginary characters, obviously these are imaginary characters but it's based on an actual location and it's based on themes and things that do happen in present day modern America. You know, we do have people bearing arms, forming groups, trying to live by their own rules. So, and this is tapping into that, which is quite a shift in terms of how serious a Far Cry game is. So you could almost say that Far Cry is actually growing up. It's tackling real world issues. It's basically put on its big boy pants and it's ready to rock and roll. And yeah, check out the trailers, I'll leave the full reveal trailer to play after I've finished yabbering on. But I'm really excited for this game now, I was a little bit apprehensive, especially when I heard that it was going to go for the Wild West theme, but of course it's not going for the Wild West theme now, it's just going to be set in the high plains in Montana. But the locations in it look gorgeous, looks like there's going to be plenty of gunplay as always with a Far Cry game, and it certainly looks like one that I'm going to enjoy playing in. And Ubisoft have said that this is going to be one of the largest games that they've created for a while it's going to have a large customizable weapon and vehicle roster bigger than any other Far Cry game that's been before and reading into the website the people that you can ally with you're going to be able to call on as you go through the game I was wondering whether you'd be able to play them but it doesn't look like you will be able to but you are going to be able to call on them to come and help you obviously when you take on certain missions there's going to be animals that you'll be able to control not sure how that one's going to work but that's going to be pretty cool I reckon there's going to be two player co-op for the full campaign, which is awesome. I'd be looking forward to playing some of that. And you're going to be open to choose what you do next in the world. There's not going to be a certain path, you're not going to be pushed in a certain direction, you're going to be able to do the game at your pace and do the parts of the game that you want to do as you go through. So of course as you can expect from a Far Cry game, you're going to have quite a dynamic open world. And apparently you're going to have a resistance meter that you will be able to raise as you go through the game. So this must be through your interactions with the locals in certain towns, you're going to be able to raise the resistance meter to fight against the Eden's path and you're going to be able to take part in aerial dogfights which is quite new for the Far Cry fan dress and I'd be quite excited to see how that actually pans out and how it actually plays and looks. So yeah there's hell of a lot to do in this game when it does release and talking of release dates there was rumours that it would be this year or it was almost nailed on for this year that is not the case it's now going to release on the 22nd of February next year so that's the 22nd of February 2018 so it's another game along with Red Dead Redemption that slipped back into early next year but I don't think that's a bad thing that kind of springtime is usually a fairly empty area for uh, huge titles to be coming out so but now we're going to have Far Cry 5 coming out at that roughly that time we're also going to have Red Dead Redemption roughly around that time so it's going to be a good few months for gaming early next year and of course if you want to keep up to date with the latest Far Cry 5 news subscribe to my channel hit the little bell icon because I will be bringing you a lot more news on this game as and when it comes out hugely looking forward to this one now I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of weapons are in it the vehicles that are in it we've got an idea of a couple it's going to be some American muscle cars in there some iconic vehicles so yeah really looking forward to this one now anyway enjoy the teaser trailer as it plays afterwards eh, not teaser trailer the full reveal trailer sorry and i shall catch you in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe take care something is coming you can feel it can't you you can feel that we are creeping towards the edge. 
I know that you were out there. And I know that you were in pain. But my children, I'm here to tell you that suffering is a choice. And you can choose a better path. We want you. We accept you. And we will take you. Willingly or not. And some of you may fight. But in the end, you will thank us. I am your father. And you are my children. PS4 for the players.